Okay. Let's see, is, is my microphone working? Yes, it is. Good, good, good. Okay. Hello, I'm John Moody of Moody Mystery. And I've been tr floating the idea of doing, um, well, let's just say that my, 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 my overall health, I'd probably say for about the past several months, have been kind of slowly going downhill. Not a lot, but slowly. And so what I'm what I'm trying to do is um, my last doctor appointment. My doctor did some work, uh, blood work, and doctor was like, you know, this doesn't look good. Your cholesterol's up. Your triglycerides are up. Like your blood blood work says, you overall you're not that healthy. And so I'm like, you know, I want to get back into it. And I figured this would be the time to do it, you know, while I have some time on my hand. Um, and so what I've did is I came, I'm, I'm coming up with an overall plan. It seems a little bit complicated, but keep in mind, you can make things as simple or as complicated as you want. Now, a lot of times people say, well, if you're going to do weight loss, 80% of uh, 80% of it is not in not done in the gym but in the in the kitchen and I would have to say that's that's pretty true you know you know you need to you need to make um and and the thing is a lot of people when they when they talk about eating you know you think of you know you, you think of ooh I'm, you know eat, eating this good food and yes food is good but I try to think of food as hey, it's just some it's I, something I need in order to, um, in order f to fuel my body, and so that's actually my goal: get enough calories, not quite enough calories, but just enough to fuel my body. And that's actually the the number one thing. If you're gonna you know if you're gonna do a fitness plan, you have you have to have an eating plan. Now, honestly, if every person um, if I had a dollar for every di quote unquote diet that was out there, I'd, I'd, um, I'd, I'd be, I'd, I'd be retired. I mean, there's like this diet, that diet, that their diet, you know, this other diet. And, and, and the thing to keep in mind when you, when you hear the word diet, you usually think of food restriction, although diets really... Um, the, the, the food that you eat. Nothing more. And there, there's going to be some humor in here, so if you're not ready... <coughs> If you're not ready for sarcasm, then you know leave. But and and so what you want to do is so so let's say you have a typical day. You know you kind of at least want to know well how much did I eat? You know. And that's by the that's where the website um, there's plenty of eating website and um, websites to track your nutrition. I happen to use my fitness pal. Um, and I, what I'm actually gonna do is um, I'm actually gonna show you some using it. So if I go home, wait a minute, I'm already at home. Well, oh my okay. Now the one thing you, you notice that it has goal. So my goal is 2,300 calories more on how I determine that. Today I ate 4,231 calories, which you'll see in a moment there's a glitch. But it's also connected to my Fitbit. See, I have a Fitbit. Um, I have a Fitbit right here. I'm gonna, gonna, show, gonna show it in the window. I'm going to, going to show it in the window. Yeah, this is it right here. Um, so that's, and, and so the Fitbit is linked up to my, uh, my fitness pal. And so 
it's thinking that I did some exercise, which probably meant when I got up to use the restroom. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, so what I can do is, so on the food, and it tells me, hey, Moody Mystery, yes, and that's me. Uh, feel free to um, s send a friend request to my fitness pal if you use that. Uh, but let's let's look at the food I ate today. Okay, so um, now one thing I'm going to say is I'm not going to claim that I eat super healthy. I'll just say this disclaimer: I do not eat super healthy. Uh, I can't some a lot of the vegetables and even some of the fruits. I just can't stand the texture, so I tend to avoid them. But what I usually, my eating is based on, it's called if it fits my macros. Now what does that mean? So what, in other words, I can eat, I can eat almost, I can eat anything I want within reason as long as it falls, as long as I don't go over on some of the macronutrients. Um, a long time ago, that R Richard Simmons actually had, a, a, I think, a really cool product out. It was called Deal a Meal. And, and so what it did it is that it helped track your eating. So in other words, let's say you'd have like some meat, you know, you'd put cards. Now, on the deal and meal, my fr I, I knew someone that used it, and they were like, I've used deal and meal, and I gained 15 pounds over the last month. And then I found out, oh, you mean you can only go through the cards once? You mean once you go through your cards, you can't redeal? <laughs> okay, so my macros, I'm going to um, oh, I'm gonna scroll down. And at the bottom, um, those, are, those, those are my daily goals. Now, one thing I do want to probably somehow turn off is, the, is include counting exercise unless I enter it myself because it is a bit annoying because I, I want to str just straight up know about the food. So... So my goal is 2,300 calories. You see I went over that a little bit. So this is how many carbs I can have. You see I'm a little bit un uh, under that. Um, I went over in fat. Shame, 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 Moody. Um, as you can see, sodium and, uh, and sugar. Sugar, I'm, sugar have I've actually been doing pretty well with. And I think you can change that. I think what you can do, you can go into settings. Uh, darn, I don't, I don't see it. I was I was I was I was hoping I was hoping to see fiber in there, but unfortunately I don't. Okay, um, so I did go over on the fat a little bit, and that's because if you look at my lunch, um, I ate at Fazoli's, and you can't resist their breadsticks. One thing I'm just gonna say, be honest. Um, if let's say you had six breadsticks, actually state that you had six breadsticks. And the one cool thing is they, they have they have a list of foods. So if let's say, and that's even going out. So let's say let's say you want to add a food. I'm not I'm not going to actually add it. Uh, but let's say, hmm, what am I trying to think? I had let's say I had um, oh darn, think 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 of a food, Moody. Think of a food. Okay, let's say let's say I had a Wendy's Wendy's large large French fries. So 
So you can actually go search. And there's actually, it's, so it gives you an approximate saying large french fries, one container, 500 calories. And you can, um, and by the way, you can also add foods. And this actually gives you the nutrition in information. Uh, again, I just need to look up the, the dietary fiber. Um, so I'm going to go back. I'm just going to click on food again. And one thing it also does is I also, I also have a um, database of things that I most recently used. And so it, ac it actually remembers things and what I use most frequently. Um, um, I, also have, I also have some recipes. No, I don't. I thought I did. But meals are usually a thing that, like I did, so for example, when I get it, I usually often get a double ham sub. Um, what I did is I actually went to the I actually went to the subway website like I, like how I like how I normally order it and it tells me hey this is what you got uh, my foods I can also set up kind of like you know like certain like for example you know mellow mushroom um, you know they, they have they have good they have good stuff. You know, and so I, I I go there, and that that's and so instead of having to always keep looking it up, if I often go there, or if I do custom food, for example, a lot of times if you do a lot of times when I go to certain restaurants, I usually don't ha get everything. I'm sorry, I can't stand the le um, texture of lettuce unless in a salad, tomatoes. Ugh. Even worse, unless you puree the heck out of them, you know. And so, and so, let's say, let's say I order things a certain way. I can, I can, I can go to the website and I can, I can look up the information. I'll be honest with you; it's becoming more difficult now uh, because a lot of times, if you want, um, no, I think Taco Bell isn't isn't bad at this. So I'm gonna. Let me switch to the Taco Bell website. You know, let me just briefly pull up Taco Bell. Okay. Um, th and this is this is where you can maybe use the, the customization. Let's see. Oh, come on, really? Okay. Oof. Unfortunately, the wind, the, um, okay, good nutrition. So one thing you can do is you can, act, you can actually do a nutritional calculator. So in other words, oh, let's pick some foods. Um, let's get a, um, oh boy. Let's get a taco, but let's get, let's get a, let's get a soft taco, but, and so if you look over here, it tells me it's got 180 calories. But let's say, see, let's say I want to add some rice, okay? So I want to add some rice. I don't want lettuce. So I'm going to remove the lettuce, but let, and let's see, did that change it? No, it did not. Wow. Um, but, but what I do want is I also want uh, rice. So I'm going to get some seasoned rice, and now you notice that my soft taco now has two is up to 240 calories and so what it does that and that what that does is that enables you to to create customized menus okay just letting your viewers know there's an ad break coming soon um, so what I'm gonna do is when the ad break comes I'm going to be right back Now, 
Now that being said, you can also you can also um, you usually someone on my fitness pal has done the same thing, where where they've where they've um where they've done custom meals. Um, and but I'm just gonna say if you're wanting if you're wanting to, to change to, to, to change to, to change you know this this is actually a good first step and make sure that you use a program that also has a phone app because nowadays everything is like on phone apps good evening fire XYZ I know this is gonna not be as exciting as uh, grinding Murphy's ghosts or defeating word uh, but I at least want to educate y'all, you know. Okay. Okay, well my my ads are done, but I'm still gonna I'm gonna still wait a little bit. Um, but there was a recent update, and I'm just I'm wondering if if somehow Twitch decided to change some of my settings, because I I know a few other streamers were having issues with that too. You know that they were like you know, you know like the three you know. Like the ads were last, I mean, I've noticed like since the last update, my ads have been lasting longer. So maybe what I need to do, I need to go, maybe go back in there and see what's going on. See if Twitch decided, eh, I changed it and uh, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe change it back to, because I, I think I remember I had it set two minutes at 15 minutes and every 30 minutes after that. So I'm, I'm wondering what's going on, but okay. I, I don't know unless you're asking what is this. This is actually my fitness pal. I'm actually in the my foods tab. This is this is where this is where I can put custom foods. Because a lot of times I tend to modify things. You know, I tend to be like I'm one of those that's like uh no chicken no. Um, um, like no, I said no mayo, you know, or I'll be like, hey, a chicken sandwich, but no, no mayo, you know, or th 
This this is a um this um, let me go back to the the food. Um this this is a daily intake. This is uh food food I ate today. Um So so this is um this is my daily intake, of course. So I, I can go to tomorrow. Now you're like, wait a minute, Moody. What what's going on here, Moody? It's tomorrow, and yet you already have two foods laid out. You already have a pro two protein shakes. What's what? Well, that stand. One thing I I, I like to do is I like I I like to plan ahead. So in other words, what I'm going to do is tomorrow, okay, what am I going to eat? Because I want, what am I going to eat in order to get to uh, my goal of 2,300 calories? And it's kind of often like I'll, I'll put together a plan. One of, one of my favorites is, is spaghetti with meat sauce. And I like that because it actually... It actually fits in very well with my macros. In other words, it's really, if I were to have two spaghetti meals, I would probably, uh, or maybe even three spaghetti meals, I would probably reliably get my, ma you know, get my macro, you know, get, get reach my macro goals. Especially if I put some grilled chicken on it. The I Night Monk, everyone knows the only food you need is pizza. And honestly, I'm gonna just say pizza is not pizza's not too bad. You know, pizza is actually a good choice. I think you know, I think. But I, I <laughs> yeah, number fifty. <laughs> So, so someone 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 asked me, well, um, have you ever thought about doing? Uh, have you ever thought about doing Cardi B? Hell no. I wouldn't. I wouldn't touch. I wouldn't touch that with a ten foot pole. Heck, I would not even touch that with a fifty foot pole. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ooh, you got a, re a restaurant redeem. That is, I think that's extremely appropriate since we are talking about food. So let's see. Okay, good restaurant. Good restaurant. Okay, you got one. Okay, I'm actually thank you for that redeem fire XYZ because you're you're actually allowing me to kill two birds with one stone. So Pepe's Mexican restaurant, they're they're in the Chicago area. There's a few of the restaurants that actually did did bring back the buffet. Now, one thing to keep in mind with the buffet is is okay. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go to a buffet. Let's let's try to track our buffet food. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. Let's see. Okay, how much meat did I taco meat did I get? Oh yeah, how much cheese? <laughs> uh -uh. Now, it's still possible to estimate, but it's probably going to be. 
uh, be uh, off. However, I'm going to, there is still a way that you can incorporate buffets into the eating plan, but that's probably going to come towards the end. Um, now, one thing to keep in mind about restaurants is as much as I like to go to private restaurants, a lot of times the nutritional information is not there. More often than not, chains have nutritional information available, but um, because they have to be consistent, because I know McDonald's, um, if you get an egg McMuffin sandwich in, let's say, Seattle, they want it to be the same as getting an egg McMuffin sandwich in, let's say, Kennesaw, Georgia. Okay, now, um, so so when it when it comes to food, um, you know you can go to restaurants, but eating at restaurants is getting expensive. I mean, last time I went to Subway, I got like a six-inch combo, and it was like almost like ten bucks. Sheesh. And if honestly, if you want to get a foot long for ten bucks, you pretty much have to go with the um, cold cut combo which is kind of the um, how can I say this bottom of the barrel you know um, okay really y'all are falling asleep I, I put down ma uh, instead of macros as in macronutrients I put down Marcos and I can't believe no one picked up on that well, maybe, maybe they thought, number two, I was going to talk about a restaurant. Okay, so how, how did I determine the macros? Well, I estimated 2,300 calories intake. Now, that, that is, that is um, there can be some flexibility in that. If I find that I'm eating 2,300 calories a day and I'm always hungry, I'm going to bump it up a little bit. If I'm doing 2,300 calories and I'm not losing fat, then I'm probably going to decrease that a little bit. Uh, but on the macros, So usually what I do is I want to my goal is to get 30% of my calories from protein, 45% from carbs, 25% of my calories from fat. Now, there, there there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, so many var varying theories out there on how and the percentage. Um, but I'm I'm going this because I am going to do some in. in Probably I'm going to do some uh, weight training, so I do want the protein to keep the muscle. Um, you still want to get fat. Now, do not cut out your fat because fats do provide certain cell functions. You know, they provide like cell, you know, cell, like, you know, cell walls are consists of like, you know, f you know, lipids, fatty acids. Uh, you need fats to help but your body absorb fat soluble vitamins. So don't cut out the fats completely. That's because I well, I did this a while back, and there was a week where I only got like seven percent of my calories from fat, and the person helping me scolded me, said, "No, no, no, you need you need to do better now." So, um, so the, 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 the um, so the, the thing to keep in mind is that you know make make sure the fats are good fats. They don't have to be perfect, because again. I'm just going to give you my opinion. If you try to, if you try to go too crazy, you know you're gonna you're gonna go gaga. Yes, lady, gaga. And I and I actually had the um, I actually had, um, I actually had this calculated. So the um, 
you know, so I actually I did the calculations here, and, and my daily goal reflects 45 percent of my calories from carbs, um, 25 percent of my calories from fats, and 30 percent of my calories from protein. Um, my only problem is, I'll tell you what, I, I almost always lose in sodium. And one thing you always want to do, make sure that you hydrate. You, you do want to you do want to still drink plenty of water because water is gonna water is gonna help things through through the digestive tract. Okay, and, and that's and by the way, keep in mind that if I find that I'm, I'm like, I'm like feeling lethargic or you know I feel after certain meals, I can adjust those. Keep in mind that macros may be different for different people. Uh, for example, if let's say you you do let's say you you're um, let's say you're a ultra marathon runner. You may only want to do 10% calories, 80%, you know, you may want to have a different breakdown. You know, or if let's say you're a power, power lifter, you may want to up the protein, you know, up the fat a little bit. You know, just listen to your body, you know, if you're, you find that you're sluggish, that's probably your body telling you something. And as I said, keep it keep in mind that, um, and and one other thing I'm just gonna uh, throw at you with respect to macros and food is that. Let's, I'm actually gonna go ba back up here. Let's see. Do I have some? Uh, do I have some uh, meals here? So let's see. Add food. Let's see. Okay, do I have my meals? Meals, come on. Okay. Okay, so Moody's BC, Betty, BC means Betty Crocker, scalloped potatoes prepared. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add that, okay? It's, it's gonna throw, it's gonna throw things off, but that's all right. Okay, now, so if you're looking here, you're like. You're like, wait a minute, why is there no fat? I read the directions on Betty Crocker's scalloped potatoes and it says to add butter. Guess what? I find that in preparing these foods, a lot of, often you can get away with not adding butter. You know, you don't have to. You know, a lot of you know, you don't have to add butter. You know, and I find that the taste is about the same if you don't if you don't add butter. And so, and, and, and so when I add milk, you notice that it said Nestle Neato Instant Dry Whole Milk. So that's what I would do is I would actually prepare this by not adding actual milk but powdered milk and then just adding the scalloped potatoes and not even adding butter. You'll be surprised. That's actually not bad. So, so I'm just saying when you're when you're preparing foods, try certain things. See, let's say, see if you can like, hey, not not add the butter. One of my favorite switches instead of mayonnaise, I use mustard. Oh, excuse me, is my mayonnaise an instrument? Now, Patrick. Mayonnaise and is not an instrument. <laughs> and keep in mind.
in mind that some of the fat, some of the foods do have some um, a lot more fats than you expect. Um, one of my favorites is I got some. Uh, um, I don't know if anyone's from like the South, but there's a chicken place called Zaxby's. They they feature chicken tenders. They're good, but I got two ranch dressings. Five hundred calories in those two ranch dressings, and pretty much all of it fat. So. Just be, just be educated about your food. That is if you're wanting a change. Now, by the way, this is not, I'm not doing fat shaming, you know. It's if, it's if you want to change. And see, I'm, I'm wanting to change because my, uh, my, my last blood work did not come up that great. So, my doctors are saying you're getting up in age. So, that's why I'm trying to get to, to do things better. Okay, now, that being said, so let's say, let's say you're cooking at home. So you got, you, you're cooking some spaghetti and you're like, oh, okay, cool. Ah, serving size is two ounces. How much is two ounces? You know, and the, and you, I've seen some laugh, life hacks on, excuse me, where they say, hey, this is where the pasta thing comes into play, where you'd be like, uh, and it says it's a serving. How do you know? And honestly, the only way to really know is to you is to use a scale. And by the way, scales are pretty cheap. If you want to buy one from like Mettler, some fancy schmancy analytical balance, analytical scale that costs a thousand dollars, go ahead. I've got this one here. This is the scale I use. Um, I need to clean it, but it says ta it, notice it says Taylor. Um, so I turn it on. And see, I can I can weigh it. It's actually I actually have it for grams, okay? So I actually have it set up for grams. Uh, but you can have it you can have it set up for any unit. So you can have it set up for ounces, pounds, and ounces. I I like grams, and you'll see why in a little bit. Um, one thing I do have to I do have to show you, and this is funny. I don't know if you can see this. It's if you look above it says made in China, it says not legal for trade. Not legal for trade. I think that's very funny. What that well, I think what that means is that you can't that you, that you can't use it to let's say. So in other words, I cannot use this to let's say, let's say, um, uh, for example, let's say I wanted to serve food from my house. I can't use a scale to weigh food. That's, I assume, what it's meeting. Um, I'm just going to say, though, the, the, the use of the scales does have kind of a dark side. And I'm gonna, I hate to say the dark side, but it, or I, you, I, can, I can think of people like, uh, you know, people that sell illegal substances using this to weigh out the illegal substances. You know. I think what that means is if I if I if I have a business where I'm selling where I'm selling things by the pound, I pro I have to have a I probably have to have a certified scale. Okay. Okay, so we talked about food, weigh, weighing the food, you know, especially if you're cooking at home. And by the way, you can you can do recipes too, you know. You know, a lot, a lot of the recipes, as so you get recipes online, a lot of them have like breakdowns of the nutritional value, like carbs, protein, you know, per serving. Uh, you can also do it with... You can also take like the bulk. You can say, "Oh, I'm making a las uh, a big pot pot of lasagna. It's got like 3,500 calories, 
and you know you can you can do the calculations like that. Um, I don't use the scale to weigh things that often. I think the main things I usually weigh out are uh, pot, spaghetti or pasta and uh, protein powder. I may I may use it I may use it for a few other things. Now, that being said, um, now I'm going to be honest with you. If you look if you look at my eating plan. I'm going to go back to it. You're like moody. This is a terrible, this is not a good eating plan. It's like, you know, you don't really, you don't really get a lot of, um, the only thing that's really redeeming, you do got a lot of tomato products, but like roast beef, it's like you don't have a lot of nutritional variety. You're right. This, 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 is, this is where supplements come in. What supplements can sometimes do is it can sometimes help bridge the gaps. Um, now, I'm gonna, full confession, I worked at a GNC for seven years, and I tended, I tended, I was, I was a bit of a supplement pusher, you know, that, that's what they wanted us to do, it wasn't, oh, just let, you know, it was like, hey, push your products. I'm going to tell you a little secret, I don't know if this is the way today, but if let's say you wanted a fat loss product, and um, the two the uh, back in the early two thousands, the two big players were Xenadrine and HydroxyCut. So if the, if I if I took a HydroxyCut and I put it in your hand, the reason I did that was not because HydroxyCut is a better product. Because if you bought the hydroxy cut, I got two, I got a two dollar commission. Versus, let's say Xenadrine, which only gave me a one dollar commission. So I'm just saying, you want to be want to be be a little careful. Do your research. Do do you do your research on that? Now I don't know if it's that way today. But you know, be 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 be. I'm just going to say, be cognizant of that fact. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to switch screens. It's going to take it's going to like um um so uh, and there's a few other things you can do. You can do um blog community apps again. Uh, feel free if you want to send a friend request, you can do so. Um, I'm going to change screens doing, d during the next ad break. But, oh, I have to show you this. Okay. So, I'm going to show you some nutritional information from a can. Now, if you look here, you'll notice that they have two columns. And I don't know if you can see it. It's like the first column, 250, it says for one cup. The second column is for 410 by, per container. They actually did not used to do that. They would often just have, okay, per like per cup. They would say a one cup serving. Not realizing that the, oftentimes a container contained two cups. Let me ask you something. How many of you, um, like let's, how many of you t get, get chunky soup? And how many of you actually measure out a cup and put it into the bowl and say, that's what I'm going to eat? Do you really? No. What you do, you often say, I'm just going to dump the whole container into the pot. I'm going to heat it up. And I think what happened is people complained that, hey, the companies were, were only giving you like a certain serving. They were not giving it to you per container. And I'm just going to say, sometimes, sometimes laws are made which make no sense. Because some companies try to short, try to do shortcuts. I'm not criticizing companies because you know a, com a company's goal is to make money. 
So that's why a lot of times they do that now. I think still re read those read those labels. You know, get it get it get educated. You know. You know, if you're wanting to change, and even then, you probably should still read it because. Um, now that being said, I'm just going to say this: if just because there is a complicated list of ingredients doesn't mean that that it's necessarily bad for you. Um, for example, I could. If you if you look at if you look at the um, if you look at the ingredient list on the Mega Men vitamins, it's 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 dizzying. Okay, I'm surprised the ad break hasn't come up yet. Come on, ad break. Ah. Okay, I'm back. Right now, I'm still trying to adjust windows here, just so I can at least, you know. Okay. Uh, uh, just so I can make sure. I'm um, just so I can properly um, have every have everything on board. Ah, okay, cool. Okay, so um, this is um, these are the supplements that I currently take. Um, on a regular basis. Um, now, and, and I've listed them in order of importance. So I'm just going to say this, if you, if you only had one vitamin, if you only had, uh, let's say, let's say you walked into GNC and you told me, Moody, I can only take, I can only buy one supplement, what should I buy? I would say a good multivitamin, a good multivitamin multi-mineral supplement. And if you're curious about the list of ingredients, I'll just start reading some of them. Uh, 
beta carotene, retinol acetate, ascorbic acid, calcium ascorbate, uh, natural D alpha to sulfuryl acetate, uh, thiamine mononitrate, riboflavin, niacin, peroxidine hydrochloride, folate, cyanocobaltamin, biotin, panathenic acid, choline bitartrate, calcium carbonate, calcium dipanathate, calcium ascorbate, potassium iodide, magnesium oxide, zinc. Y'all see what I'm saying? You know, I mean, and th that's the one, you know. Now, as I said, you know, I'm, I'm saying a sex, uh, a, uh, a gender-specific multivitamin now. Um, if, if you are, if you are, if you are, so, um, let's say you're someone that's transitioning, transgender, I would may, I would talk with a, a, someone who's certified, you know, a doctor who's certified in that area and say, what's, which, which supplement should I go with? Should I go with a women's vitamin or should I go with a men's vitamin? The reason I'm not going to give advice is because. I, I do chemistry. Would you want to? Would you want law advice from me? No. If I if I want if I wanted advice on law, I'd go to a lawyer. If I'd want to if I want my car fixed, I wouldn't go to a lawyer. I'd go to a mechanic. Sa same thing. Uh, vitamin C I think is good. Antioxidant vitamin E. I take I take a I take a B complex vitamin. TR means time released. Uh, I don't know why I take biotin because I don't have any hair. I get to, I have to work with this sponge boob. Uh, fiber. That's because I don't get a lot of fiber, so uh, so, so that's why I take fiber. Uh, I'm going to talk more about the protein powder. Um, uh, one thing about protein powder is that um, notice notice that on the protein powder I do pure water and then add the powder. You always want to do add the water first because if you add the power powder first and then add the water. It, it clumps. You don't want clumping. Now, by the way, what protein powder do I use? Um, I use the GNC Pro Performance 100% Way. Now, some of you may wonder why why I use the GNC Pro Performance. Does anyone have a clue why I would use that one? <laughs> the reason being is because I actually like its taste. And whenever someone asked for a suggestion about protein powder, I was like, find one that you like the taste of. Now, that being said, it's very tough to get protein powder plus water to actually taste decently, but I was able to do it. That's why I say eight ounces of pure water. It's good enough. Um, it just make sure that you mix it uh, at least often. Now, if you notice, I get my biotin from Target. What biotin does is biotin is good for hair health. Now, I hope I hope to get a position that I, at least I'm able to grow out my hair so I can go back to the cool hair. I want that. 
Okay. Oh boy. Okay, so these are the supplements. These are the supplements, okay? And I, I you know, as I said, uh, protein, I'm, and why I like protein powder is because it enables you to get protein pretty cheaply. Because I'm going to be honest with you, the protein is expensive. The best deal I could find on protein is chicken breast for like $2.99 a pound. I, I, have a fr I have a friend, Maria, who, who's extremely into working out, actually confessed to me that she'd bought, bought like five pounds every like three days. I swear, Maria's probably, I think, I think all that she eats is chicken breasts and rice. She told me she did. Okay, so... Um, so, 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 so we've talked about food, we've talked about scale supplements. Let's talk about working out. And there's two aspects to working out, weights and cardio. Not Cardi B, okay, please. So let me, let me get my, uh, let me pull out my workout plan. Okay, ooh, I need, I think I need to adjust it a little bit, okay. Need to, need to do a little resizing. Oh boy. Okay. Really, really, computer, really? Okay, so. Actually, that's all right because I have, I, I actually have a way. Okay, so. Really, really game? Really? Seriously? Okay. Okay, so I, I actually do a seven-day rotation. Um, so Monday, chest and triceps, back, you know. On Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays, I do calves, abs, and forearms. Those are also the days I do my cardio now. Um, when I do chest, now when I on chest day. I tend to I tend to do um, how I warm up. Now a lot of people when they warm up they do they do like five minutes on a treadmill. You know, like eh, I'm gonna get the blood flowing. You know, nice. But why get the blood flowing to the entire body if you're only gonna be doing chest? So what I do is I actually tend to do light like flies, light exercises, cable crossovers. They're very light. They get the blood flowing specifically into the muscle group that I'm interested in. In this case, the chest. That, that then I. Uh, my mile time right now. I, as far as I don't do a lot of competitive running, so I don't uh, do a mile time. Uh, when I do cardio, I, I I mainly do it for heart rate and not. So I'm not a competitive runner, and I'm honestly I am ne I never claim to be, and I never will be. I'm assuming your mile time, you're talking about running, so. Oh, oh spread, okay. And, and Monday I do, Tuesday I do back and biceps again. Um, Thursday I do traps first, and the reason being is I, the reason on Monday I do chest first is because once I'm done with my chest workout, you also work the bicep, triceps a little bit. And so your triceps are already warmed up. Um, uh, also, I do have I do have a you know I do have a leg exercise. 
um, thing. Um, so th th those are my leg exercises. Um, notice that I do a fair number of one-legged exercises. And the reason for that is because, um, see, if, if let's say you use two legs, you actually get the benefit of what's called stability. And to use an example, try j do a squat with two legs. It's pretty darn easy, right? You can do a squat with two legs. Try doing a one-legged squat. Um, that's not fun cause, because you don't have that st extra stability. And also what it does it, is it eliminates one side being weaker than the other because a lot of times you will find that, that let's say maybe you're, especially if you're right-handed, um, like you'll find that your left hand is weaker on certain exercises. Okay. Now, by the way, unfortunately, I could not find my notebook that had a lot of these the specific exercises because I had to because I'm I'm. Uh, no longer teaching for a while. I had, to, I had to move out of my office, and so I just, I didn't want to deal with it, and I just threw everything into, like, boxes and whatnot, so. Actually, no. The, these, uh, oh, okay. Oh, I think I know what your fire XYZ. You're confusing the exercise with this column, which is the cardio plan. I'm going to talk about the cardio plan in a little bit. Usually, the usually the legs take about an out about a little over an hour uh, to do, unless there's some inconsiderate jerk who who decides, oh, I, I'm I'm going to I'm going to sit on the leg press machine, and I'm not going to let anyone work in. And one thing to keep in mind with weights is I, I also keep track of poundages because I want to know. I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna tell you a little little thing that happened. This was I noticed that a lot of my weight poundages were going down, and I was like, "What's going on?" It actually turned out that I started eating clean and was still taking water pills, and I was literally. I was literally like losing water, like cray cray. And by the way, CAF, this is this is these are the exercises I do when I do calves, abs, and forearms. Um, now, by the way, um, where do I work out? I just, I, 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 you know, again, y'all, I just like to have fun, okay? So, if you're like, eh. I think, I think you, I think, I think most of you can guess the place. Okay, so. Okay, so now, now we've talked about the weights, and one thing you want to do on weights is you really want to push yourself, and and so like let's 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 say I'm doing a bench press, and let's say let, let's say I'm doing a 75, let's say I'm doing a 135 pound bench press, and it's like I'm I'm I, I'm doing 16 reps easily, and so I have an e let's say I have an easy bench press session. That's why I keep track of things because it tells me, hey, up the weight, up the weight. You know, next time start with 145. Okay, so now we're going to talk about 
we're going to talk about cardio. Now, if, if you want to have some fun on the internet, there, there is a, there is a, if you want, if you want to have some fun, uh, just, just talk. Hey, Mr. Rage quit. How you doing? This is an unusual stream about fitness, which I said, finally got to. So we're going to look, we're going to look at the cardio plan now. I'm just one thing. So you may look at look at like my uh, my first cardio plan, say three days at 30 minutes, and you may say, Moody, that's not much. Well, let's say you're going tanning. You have never tanned before. You have never done tanning beds. Are you gonna go for 30 minutes in the super bed? Uh, nope. I don't. I don't think so. Fire X Y Z. I don't think so. So if you have never tanned, how many of you think that you should do th your first session? You should do thirty minutes in the super bed. I want to see. I, I want to see a raise of hands. Y'all notice my hand isn't up. One of, one of my favorite things I used to do, I'm going to just t t tell a story for a little bit. One of my favorite things when I teach class, I'd be like, spring break would be coming up. And okay, I'm like, okay, how many, how many people are wish spring break would start today? And what was funny is, uh, is everyone would put their hand up. But guess who else would put their hand up? And I would be like, me too, me too. And it was always funny. You know, it was funny. I mean, no. You're, come on, come on. You're not gonna. I mean, sheesh. You'll be like, you'll be like so, you'll be like so red that reminds me of like Spun, like that SpongeBob episode where Mr. Krab stayed in the sauna forever and was like, you know, got got you know, it was basically you know what. So no, don't do that. Don't do thirty minutes. And the same thing with cardio. You know, if you're a couch potato, only do only do a little only do a little bit, start a little bit. You know, don't don't do much. Now, I, I unfortunately I have not been able to find good heart rate because you also want to do it. Heart rate should be seventy percent of max heart rate. Um, the reason I'm I was not able to determine that was because. I actually take some uh, beta blockers, which does lower my blood pressure, and so I'm trying to get some recommendations on on that. But you want the heart rate because because you want fat loss, okay? If you want cardiovascular fitness, you know you you want you want a good you know you you want to do 80 85 percent. If you're trying to lose fat. And also suggest now why I like to do cardio after weights because um, when you're doing weightlifting, your primary energy source is glycogen, which is which I call muscle energy. Cardio tends cardio can also use glycogen. Uh, but what happens once the glycogen is depleted from cardio, then it starts to use, then it starts to tap into the fat stores. And so you want the glycogen lower. So that way when you start the cardio, it'll, uh, the glycogen will be used up sooner. And, and therefore you will be, you will be start your, your, um, the body will tap into its fat sources sooner. Amino acids and creatine for supplements. Those, those are good choices. Marista Rage quit. I would probably still maybe, 
I'm, this is just a suggestion. I'd still maybe make sure you're at least taking a multivitamin, um, unless you have a per, unless you have a really good diet. But still, I think those are good, especially if your goal is muscle gain. And by the way, I've I've talked about I've talked about muscle. I talked about fat loss. That being said, if you're looking for muscle gain. You know, if let's say you're looking for muscle gain, then you're at, then you're actually going to up your calorie intake. You're going to increase the calories. Um, you're going to you're going to make you make sure that you get a good bit of protein. And And by the way, if you're wanting a good, uh, good muscle gain, glutamine is actually good because it actually encourage. One thing I found out with glutamine is there's it it does force some water into the muscle cells. You know, and I've actually taken glutamine supplements, and every time I have taken glutamine, I've always I've always gotten. What we call swole, baby. Yeah, swole. I'm swole. And by the and and I remember because I worked at GNC and I had some knowledgeable customers. I I remember there was like one day we had like I'd like ten peep ten. I remember ten VSU football players. Ten VSU football players. Guess what? Every one of them. Bought and I'll tell you what most all of them bought the following three items: Mega Men Sport multivitamin, a big thing of protein, a big thing of glutamine. And that that actually was cool because at GNC when I was working that week we had like a pro performance thing, and so they were buying the pro performance line and it was like, and so I was like. Unfortunately not. I actually tried to, I'm trying to remember what arcade I mentioned, but I actually talked to them about working there, and they they said they didn't have anything. Uh, but that being said, uh, Fire XYZ, they're expanding their business. They're expanding their business uh, because they're also, um, also going to incorporate a bar. Um, they're also going to, they're, they're, so they're going to actually have, a, I think, three or four places. They're going to have, like, a place where you sell games, uh, a, a bar where you can drink, um, of course, the arcade. And I think they're also going to have a, an axe throwing thing. They're actually going to have a thing where you, you, throw, you throw axes. Now, uh, one thing I'm also going to mention before we go to the, uh, pr hopefully the last ad break. <laughs> That's the ring, no axe. Is, why is this not working? Okay. Um, one thing. One thing I'm gonna do. Uh, before we move on to the how to how to determine progress. <laughs> is, I, I I unfortunately I could not find most of the uh, things in my gym bag. But if you're going to shower, make sure you get a change of clothes, towels. Um, if you're doing cardio, I don't know how the heck people did cardio without listening to music. And when I say music player, that could be anything. That could be a cell phone. It could be an 
an MP MP3 player, it could be an iPod, it could be a you know phone, audio books. Hey, you know, I occasionally left my uh, my my cassettes behind, and trust me, my ex girlfriend used to rib me, make fun of me all the time, because most of the time I listened to Weird Al. Don't judge y'all, okay? But now on the cardio plan, keep it. Notice that it increases. Because what happens? The body adapts. Okay. You know, if let's say I I do six minutes in the in in the low bed, eventually I don't see much progress. So that's why when I'm tanning, I I I I increase it a little bit. And you do the same with cardio. Eventually, once the body adapts. Then you kind of say, "Hey, I need to, I need to maybe go a little bit longer," and so you increase it by either ten minutes, maybe you increase it by a day. Okay, uh, I'm back. I'm going to show you something about the protein container, okay? A little education. And see, one thing I like doing, I like, I like helping people. I like educating people. So here you look at the protein container, and you see the label says 24 grams of protein, 130 calories. And you're like, wah, I, I, I want 40 grams of protein. Wah! I want 40 grams of protein. Wah! And that's when Dave Ramsey comes in and says, Do you want me to call you the Wambulance? This is what you do. So this tells you the supplement facts. You can't see it. And so it gives it to you on a basis of per serving. And so that's why I weigh out my protein powder. I weigh it out because I want to make sure that I get 40 grams of protein. Now, I, for, I forget how I think on this I calculated that it's 57 grams. So if I put 57 grams of this powder, that's going to be, actually, Mr. Spock, it actually doesn't taste too bad if, if it's cold enough, okay? And that's the thing, you know, you need to find a protein powder that's not only reasonably cheap, but also actually tastes decently. And I actually can, mi I can mix it with water. <sighs> okay. So, y'all, I have this great plan. Do y'all agree? A lot of you agree I have this great plan. How do I know it works? How do I know it works? Because it may not work. It may not work. How do I know? Well, so this is this is where the measurement comes into play. Okay, 
So, so what I have here is I have I have two tabs. So this this tab right here. Um, so I actually weighed myself this morning. I actually have a a scale um, that I use. I weighed myself this morning. It said 223 pounds. Um, it said 26.2 percent fat, which I'm going to say is skewed. And notice that on the percent H two O, notice that the two is a subscript. That's one of the cool things about it's a it, it's a bit tricky. Um, but notice that I weigh myself every week. Now, you notice that for seven three, I have three hundred pounds. That's just a dummy number. But I also do have a column for BMI. I don't know why. Uh, BMS, BMS activity, that's just an estimated number of calories I burn. And that's how, that's how I determine the number 2300. That's how I determine, hey, Moody, about 2300 calories. Um, the, the formulas, I will say, are a little bit outdated. Uh, but there's also one other thing I uh, now um, I was going to do something but I'm not going to I may I may do it later on uh, but one thing I do is I weigh myself twice because most often if you weigh yourself two times on the same scale you will not get the same exact number and that's because a lot of measuring devices have have what I call ra random errors. So in other words, you can step on a scale and it may say 198 pounds and you may say, step 198 point, let's say two pounds. You may step on it again and it says 198.6 pounds. I was going to demonstrate, but I'm kind of running up against time. I actually wanted this to be limited time. Um, how do I determine water percent? Well, actually, my scale actually sends an electric current through my body. And so what it does is it actually, it, it actually by electrical impedance, determines the water percentage. Now, um, that being said, I'm going to just say my, water, my fat percent is a little low because I'm actually holding water right now. I'm actually retaining water. Um, in, in 2017, before I went into the hospital because, uh, because my, uh, the water was filling up in my abdomen, because I was retaining so much water, the thing thing, oh, and that's how it does because muscle, water tends to reside in muscle, but not in fat. But yeah, it's a pretty cool scale. It's been, I've had it for probably 20 years. Which is impressive. I mean, hey, but so that's how I check my progress. There's also another thing I do, and I even measure myself. So, so what I do is I measure the waist, navel, and I measure all my other body parts: neck, chest, right bicep, right forearm, right thigh, right calf. And why do I do that? Because, because what's going to happen is, see, when I start getting back into working out, I'm going to start putting on muscle. And how? And actually, how do I determine? How do I do? I actually have a device called MyoTape. So, so if let's say I want to measure the right bicep, what I do? I just clip it in like this. Okay, got it. Okay, and when, when, when doing biceps, you always want to flex them. Let's get this a little bit to the peak. And so, ooh, um, it's tough to tell, but it's about 14, about 14 and 3 eighths. About 14, no, I, darn, 14 and 3 quarters. Let me look at my thing. Um, I measured these this morning, so it may have been a little bit bigger. But yeah. And by the way, if you notice my neck, um, 
Ideally, your neck, right bicep, and right calf should all be in line. Uh, my right bicep is a little low. My right calf is a little bit high. And by the way, secret, the reason my right calf is a little bit high is because when I was younger, I always used to walk on my toes. I would walk on my toes, so... Now, um, notice my BMI is 36.54, which would classify me as obese. Okay, I'm just giving you all a, a, a little bit of a trigger warning. I'm going to be uh, at about the 130 mark. I am going to be removing just my shirt. I am a male, so don't you know? So I'm not violating any terms of service. Although I may, I'm not sure if I'm going to remove it necessarily. Um, but but the thing is, on progress, you need you can't just see the thing is you can't just look at the scale because. I would bet for probably the first few weeks my weight will go up. But that's because I'm putting on muscle. I remember a, a story about uh, someone at GNC a little bit upset. Because they started a good workout plan. They were doing good protein powder. And they said, they were like, I can't believe it. I haven't lost any weight. What's going on? And so I'm like, so I ask questions. I'm like, you know, I'm, and it's very specific. I said, I'm gonna. How are your jeans fitting in your waist? You know, I said, how, how, how are your clothes fitting? And there was like, I know what's going on. You're putting on muscle, and and you're probably losing a little bit of fat. So what happens is, you know. It's, 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 it's like these uh, athletes that complain they have thunder thighs and it's because and it's because that they're you know they they're like if let's say you know you're doing a lot of like leg exercises and you're wanting to you know and you're you know and so your legs get just literally swell up because I've, I've met people that you know, I've met different people that like they, they, they can lift all they want and never gain up never gain any muscle. I have people that can look at a squat rack and their their legs will automatically get they'll, they'll put three inches on their legs. You know. So that's how you measure progress. It's a combination of body fat. Now, if I really wanted to do well, I could also do like the skin pinch test. But there, there is, there is one. There is uh, before I. Uh, I have to go. There's one more. Okay. Up. Oh. So here we go. The reason I wanted to do that is I wanted to ask, do I, do I need do I um, do I need to lose fat? Yes, I mean I'd like to, but I don't really need to. Uh, but you notice my belly was sticking out a little bit. So on the progress, the last thing I'm going to say is if you look on my thing, you notice the ultimate is in body. There, there is a, there is a, there is a thing called the in body, in which you can, you can act. What you do is you stand. I think it's like takes only a few minutes, 
and it will give you a detailed breakdown of where your fat is, where your mu where your muscle is, how much fat is in each of the extremities. They actually break it down by extremities. They say left arm, right arm, trunk, which apparently me is all I've junk in my trunk. Um, they actually do do the legs. They do you know they, it's 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 extremely thorough. I'm just going to say if you have if you have access to that and there's a gym that's doing the, uh, the in body as a promotion for free run don't walk okay go go do it okay so we're not done yet that, as I said but there's progress you really you know you you can't see the problem is on progress you can't just use one method you you can't just use the scale you know, and that that's why I'm doing the measurements, because even if my weight goes up, if my waist goes down, I'm happy. Okay. So, number eight is the other. Last topic. Last topic. And I'm what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to I'm trying to think what I want to do. How I want to do this. Let's just let's just make sure I did all of the necessary things. Okay, I did the weight raw overall, how to measure, workout plan. Um, and by the way, on how to measure, there is a protocol. You know whether whether things are flexed or whatnot. So, you know, I, I you always want to follow that. You know. Okay, so let's see. Workout plan. Okay. Supplements, dosage. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do The last topic I'm going to talk about is how to cheat. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm going to put it under supplements. If you're going to be cheating, I recommend maximum one one time per month. And I often I often cheat every couple months. So. And I actually plan these. I actually plan cheat days. So what I do is pick a day. So, so and, and, and by the way, so why, 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 why can you cheat occasionally? Because what happens is sometimes the body you know the the body will the body will say wait a minute what the heck is happening it's like there is like all this food coming i need to kind of boost the metabolism a little bit to maybe get this food on its way but it doesn't go down right away and so if you go the next day if you go back to normal you'll be all right now mr spock i'm just going to say um, 
if you say one sugar soda a week, for instance, I don't know if that's really cheating per se because the thing is on my program, the way I do things, if, if a sugar soda fits your macros, you can still actually record it. But like a cheat day, I don't even I don't even keep track of food. I just I'm like, oh, I'll just eat whatever I want. I'll be like, oh. But make it make it count. That's all I'm gonna say about cheat days. You know, make them count. And also keep in mind that you know. And why why am I doing this? Is because of because of doctors. My doctors said, "Hey, you need you need to. You need, okay. Uh, you you need to get healthier now. Um, they are not a sponsor. I'm just going to, X, Y, fire, fire, X, Y, Z, that's an excellent question. I don't, I don't, I do not recommend drinking alcohol. I'm at, and, that, and actually one of the reasons for this was because I've been, I've been really struggling with um, alcohol. So, you know, I don't, I don't recommend drinking it. Although on cheat days I have, just don't tell anyone. Um. I, I've told Victoria, and she, Victoria won't tell anyone. It's Victoria's secret. Uh, but that being said, it depends. Fire X Y Z. If if it's if it's like a few glasses of wine, you know what? I don't see a problem. But if it's like if it's like um, a uh, if it's like a case of natural ice, then no, I'm gonna be like no no no. Um, and F, F, I'm going to just say, FYI, beer has calories from alcohol. So if you're wondering why, you know, so if let's say you, you see some light beer, And you're you're like, why can't they get the calories any lower? It's because beer itself does have alcohol. But y'all, I just want to say, I, I want to thank everyone. For, it's sorry I gone over a little bit of time. And by the way, I um, I actually did defeat those of you that are wondering about the um. Uh, the Wizardry One series, it's over. It's over for now because I did defeat Wordna, and I'll be honest with you, it was actually it was actually anticlimactic. Climactic. The the only the only issue I had was Wordna casting a tilt to wait on on the first round. I mean, it was like you know bo boring. But I I don't think it's on YouTube yet, Mr. Spock. I I've been having trouble uploading videos to YouTube because there was one that something something I forgot to hit end stream, and so I'm trying to like get it fixed. But I just I just y'all. Yeah, fire X was. I think that's what happened. I forgot. I forgot to. I forgot to hit end stream. And and so I think that that's what happened. That's why people are like wondering what's going on here. But my fitness pal, you don't have to add me as a friend if you want to. You can. And hey, you know my fitness pal is not the only one. There's lots of other really good apps. Um. But I, I, don't wanna, I just want to thank everyone for watching. You know, we're going to 
See, I'm trying to... See, this is the thing. Normally, I would raid someone, but it's like... I don't, I don't see anyone to raid. Oh. Actually, I do. Actually, I found someone to raid. I, I Even though this is a fitness stream, I still have to raid... Uh, Camellio Retro Gaming Junction. Camellio is doing Ultima, Ultima 7 Part 2. And apparently says objective. We will finish this tonight. So. So. Stick around for the raid. You don't have to, but I again, I thank everyone. And hey, I, I'll I'll keep you updated on my progress. So thank you very much.